this is Tuesday of week 28. Question one, minus five plus plus two is minus three. Question number two, what's the LCD? That stands for lowest common denominator of two thirds and six eighths. So it's three and eight are the denominators here. So if you were to do out the um, Ulrich, what do you call it? multiples, the, small, the first number that's on both lists is 24. Uh, question number three, 40 divided by eight, well, that's equal to 5. Multiply by 8 minus 5, well, that's equal to 3. And your answer is 15. Question number 4. One third multiplied by 3 quarters. What I've done here is I've just knocked out the two threes because you've got a 3 on top and a 3 on the bottom. So they cancel each other out. And what you're left then is 1 over 4. So that's your answer. If you were to do it out long, it would be multiplying the top by top and the bottom by bottom. You'd end up getting the same thing because you'd have 3 over 12. And then you'd both sim you'd simplify top and bottom by dividing top and bottom by three. So if you knock that out at the start, you get the same answer. Don't do it unless you're 100% happy about it. You can always multiply top by top and bottom by bottom and then simplify. But if you can simplify beforehand, it means those numbers are never get too big. Question five, uh, five, 1,200 take away A equals 700. So A equals 500. Question number six, 30% discount on a 300 euro item. So you have to get 30% of 300. That's 90. 30% 30 of 100 is 30. 30% 30 of 200 then is 60. 30% of 300 is 90. And then the new price is your 300 euros take away 90. So it's 210 euros. Question seven, double 7.009 is 14.018. Name the triangle. The markings are all the same. So it's an equilateral triangle. Question number nine. A car costs 7,500 euros plus 20% fat. What's total price? 20% is one fifth. So you have to get one fifth of 7,500. How do you get one fifth of a number? You divide by five. And when you do that, you get 1,500. You have to add that to your 7,500 and your answer is 9,000 euros. Question 10. The question says, how many lines of symmetry does this letter have? And I didn't like that. So <laughs> I've changed that to axes. The axis is the line around which the two sides have to be symmetrical. When I was looking at that first, I was thinking, how many lines are symmetrical? And you could say, well, that line and that line. So there's two lines that are symmetrical, two symmetrical lines. But that's not really what the question is. They should say axes. So the axis, it's a single axis, A -I -A -X -I -S, but axes is the plural. Anyway, there's still two, one down the middle, one across the middle. Question 11, 89 meters. 0 0.089 kilometers. Question 12, four and three quarters as an improper fraction. You multiply that four by the denominator, which is also four. You add the three, so four by four is 16, plus three is 19. 19 over four is your answer. Question 13, what 3D shape has four faces, four vertices, six edges? Well, the clue is in the name here, four faces, so it's a tetrahedron. But it's also the only one that can possibly work because, well, the four vertices as well, six edges. A triangular pyramid or a tetrahedron is your answer anyway. Question 14, four multiplied by one half is the same as four divided by two. How many halves in four? Eight, four divided by two, uh, sorry. Uh, no, that's not right. Sorry, I made a mess of that. Four multiplied by one half. How many have? Yeah, four halves is two, and four divided by two is two. Sorry. Uh, Fifteen. One point seven multiplied by zero point three. Zero point five one. This pie chart uh, shows the number of events won by each team on sports day. There are thirty-two events in total. How many events did the yellow team win? So I looked at this and I said, okay, that's that's going to be one quarter here. And then this is another quarter down here altogether. This part is one half of a quarter. So that bit is one eighth. And that's one quarter. That's one eighth. That's one eighth. This is also one half plus one quarter. But one half plus one quarter. Sorry, one eighth plus one quarter. You change that quarter into two eighths. So two eighths plus one eighth. Is three eighths. So yellow and green are both three eighths. If the question is how many events did the yellow team win? 
Well, 1 8 is 4. 1 8 of 32 is 4. So 3 8 of 32 is 12. So the yellow team won 12. What fraction? So you have to be careful. See what they're actually asking. This says how many events. This question is how, what fraction of events did the green team win? win? Well, we already said that's 3 8. Question number 18. How many events did the red team win? Well, it was 1 8. 1 8 of 32 is 4. Uh, question 19. What fraction of events did the blue team win? Again, the same way you have to answer it the way they're looking for it. That's 1 8. And question 20. Did the red and blue teams win the same amount of events? Yes, they did because they both had 1 8. Even if you didn't know what was the number, just by looking at the, at the graph, you can see that that's 1 8 and that's 1 8. You have to do the same amount. And the problem solving for Tuesday. What fraction of an hour is 20 minutes? That's one third. 20 over 60 is the same as 2 over 6. It's the same as one third. And then what fraction of an hour is 18 minutes? Well, what you would do in simplified form, what you do is you do the same thing here. You put it over 60. So 18 over 60. Can you simplify 18 and 60 by dividing top and bottom by the same number? Yes, you can. You can divide both by 6. You end up with 3 tenths. Can you simplify that any further? No, you can't divide 3 into 10. So the answer is 3 tenths.